I'm Amy Elliott. I work at Oak Ridge National Lab at the Manufacturing Demonstration Facility where we research advanced manufacturing technologies like 3D printing. Additive manufacturing or 3D printing holds a lot of promise in the manufacturing industry. So with additive, we can create things more efficiently and also more complex. And so we can make geometries that we couldn't make before. So the problem with the technology right now is the material properties aren't quite what we're used to in traditional materials. So that's part of our research is to um, research these new materials and improve their properties. Healthcare is a great application for additive manufacturing because all of our bodies are different. Um, implants are always different per the patient. And with additive, we get the customization, the complexity for free. So we can create these implants and these medical apparatuses much more quickly and easily and more efficiently with additive. So in the consumer space, uh, I know there's already a number of applications and I think you may be wearing some on your feet today. Can you tell us about some of the stuff that's in production from a 3D printing standpoint? In consumer products, we're seeing a lot more demand for customization, which traditional manufacturing does not offer that. But with additive, you get the customization for free. The machine doesn't care what you're printing. It can print a different part every time. Um, so I think additive will impact the consumer industry in that way. Um, I'm actually wearing some 3D printed shoes that were custom fit for my feet. The most comfortable shoes that I have um, just because they fit my feet perfectly. If you think about in an industrial manufacturing setting, is 3D printing being used for production today as opposed to prototyping? For certain products, additive is definitely being used to produce the actual products. But what we're seeing more and more of is that additive is being used to produce the tooling. Tooling is typically very expensive, it's custom, it's complex, it's low volume, um, it takes a long time to make, and additive can actually address all of those problems. Was there a pivotal point in your childhood that you said, I know I'm gonna be an engineer? So actually up until high school, I thought I was gonna play the flute for my career. That was the only skill that my little teenage brain could translate to a career. Um, but then my brother got into the robotics team in high school and he got to go to Florida. I wanted to go to Florida, so I joined the team, but then I realized that you know engineering actually requires a lot of creativity, just like music, just like art. And you can actually make a lot of money doing it as well. And so that's when it clicked for me. I just realized this is somewhere I can be creative, I can you know achieve things, I can contribute, but I can also make a good income. It's unique that you see women in manufacturing and even probably more so women in engineering roles. Did you find difficulty in taking that career track? Being a woman in manufacturing and in engineering in general has actually been a really positive experience for me. Um, this field is very results driven and so I'm not, I don't have to worry about being judged for anything other than my performance. Um, also, I've always been super welcomed on any team that I've been a part of and so it's, it's really been a great career choice for me um, and I really feel like I have an impact. Recognizing that there is a shortage of women in manufacturing and particularly engineering, are there things you think we need to change to get more women involved? I think to encourage more young girls to pursue careers in science and engineering, we really just need to give them the vocabulary, help them see how science and engineering are all around us. You know, how does that water tower provide pressure to the faucet? Um, how is furniture made? You know, how is how are our clothes made? Engineers touch everything that we have in our daily lives. And so if we give them the vocabulary, when they're ready to make that career choice, it won't be so foreign to them. It'll actually be as natural to them as, you know, painting a picture. The advice I would give to young girls who are interested in engineering is that this is a great career choice. Um, it's very rewarding and girls have unique skills that they have to offer and so they can definitely contribute. Amy, thank you so much for being with us today and sharing the innovations that are occurring within additive manufacturing. You're welcome. <laughs>